Right across him as he fell off the ropes. Five, six. Legal move. Now he may try and spin him, or he may slam him from there. Slam from there. One. Came a little bit slow, Logan. He missed his chance there. Logan expecting that drop kick from the canvas to come much higher. Stepped back to avoid it, and he needed it. And that's going to be allowed, despite the fact that I thought it was under the ropes. And round four, the first ball of the contest goes to Great Britain, the red corner, Steve Logan. A little unlucky for his opponent, but well done, Steve. Because that looked to me on the right-hand corner there as if uh, Steve Logan and Owen Hart's feet and uh, arms and even head were right underneath that bottom rope. Anyway, he's got the first four. Two to go. Seconds away, round five. As they start round five, now can the young 18-year-old come back into this now with an equalizer? One, two. If he wants three, a chance of winning it, he's four. got to get the equalizer in this fifth round. Logan does that trip beautifully. Three, it's uh, really four, a knee, left knee five, coming up into the stomach, six, turning his man seven, over at the same time. Eight. Still yes! the suplex by Logan over the top one, cross press. If he gets this one, it's a 2 0 win for, one, two, for England here. Three, but he four, hasn't made it. Five and up and down. Six. <laughs> Oh, nicely, oh, nicely, really acrobatic. And Logan didn't know where that was coming from at all. It's a folding press, and, and Hart could make the equalizing hairs. Very neat move. In just under the minute of round five, Hart the equalizing four, one each. Ladies and gentlemen, in 55 seconds of round five, the equalizing fall goes to Canada and Owen Hart. Well done, Owen Hart. Very neat move indeed. That back somersault off over the top of his man without taking him with him, as probably Logan expected, and came back at him through the legs afterwards. Very neat. That's got him his equalizer. Now he's got one round to get the winner. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. Hands come out fighting. And Hart doing a nice throw. Beautiful throw there. It's a One. great start. One. I mean, just equalized. Wouldn't it be something if he could make the winner as quickly as that? Yeah. Logan quite happy to stay there with that head scissors on him. One. Can he get out of that folding press neatly? Can he do it out of this same move? Yes, he can. Two rope burns he's got across his back now, Hart. And the third time he's got out of a folder. Reaching for the grapevine. Didn't get it. Allowing Hart to turn into the hole. Oh, yeah, take, he couldn't take him with him. This time Hart did not mean to miss him. He meant to grab his man as he went over. And that for some Four, reason Logan didn't five, want to follow. Six, no. No. <laughs> no. 
No nice switch, took him to him at a time, but he made the switch. This time Logan ready for it, and over the top of the forearm. Right to the side of the head. Five, six. Good one. One. But not, not across him enough. Now he's across him enough. But Hart gets the perfect bridge. Well, despite his excellent amateur record as a as a youngster in Canada, he of course has got a little bit to learn naturally about the ways and means over here, although that equalizing four on the fifth round made him look very good indeed against the more experienced Logan. Just a couple of minutes left in this bout now. Still one fall each. Can we get a result here? I think he should stick to the acrobatic stuff more. Hart, he, he's done well on a couple of occasions. And that left knee comes up as he crosses over the ropes. Nicely taken over the top. Oh. He gave up when he realized how near the ropes he was. He's got to be quick. He just got this Boston crab on. Notice the way that Logan's holding the heart's feet to make sure he can't turn. Uh, so he went the other way nicely. Just one minute now in this bout. 60 seconds to go. One, two, three. Slam now, and his last, Logan's last chance. Oh, he gets a counter two. And Owen Hart manages to throw him off. Goes in a bit slovenly, but he still gets the move. And now his chance for a cross press. Half a minute. One, two, three. It's a reached for cross press there by Logan that can't come to anything, so he gives up. Again, Hart tries a fold over, just holding one leg. He's got eight seconds to make it. No. One, two, Five, three, four, three, two. Too late, and it's a draw. One fall each. But a nice draw, and well done, both fellows. Steve Logan and Owen Hart. Nice little bout there. Ladies and gentlemen, after some very stiff competition from both corners, the referee's decision is a draw. Your appreciation for all hearts and Steve Logan. And don't go too far away. We've got Marty Jones against Ross Hart coming up next.